One cannot live fully without embracing crime. A pact that requires that while some live, others die. What do you think it is about a psychological jigsaw puzzle mm -hmm. mystery that fascinates us? I love them, but the nice thing about a psychological thriller, it's all in how demented you are. You know, it shows, it, it allows the film to become richer because of what you project onto it. And um, I think that's always more fascinating, like the turn of a doorknob, Hitchcockian style, is far more interesting than someone going, you know. Is it that because murder's the sort of the ultimate crime and it's how it sort of repels us but attracts us at the same time and, and we all, I don't know. I mean, I don't sit around contemplating murdering anybody ever, but I, it does fascinate me. What's interesting about this film to me is that it's not your typical movie yeah. history, you know, that it's uh, within the first 10 minutes you know who did it. And uh, it's more just about uh, dealing with the ramifications of committing an act like that and the practicalities of it, you and know, it's, what it's... it's like to actually commit a murder. The evidence is so tiny you wouldn't know it if you held it in your hand. The monster is like the, you know, the human psyche in, in our society where it's at right now. The fingerprints, you know, murder weapon, they'll have their work cut out for well, I think it's this great, you know, black and white, good guy, bad guy, and you get to root for the good guy, and mostly, most of the time at the end, the good guy wins. You know, I think we want to believe that the bad guy gets caught. Welcome to Homicide. Did I get you? 